difficult Sarah to meet her real parents. Do you realize the risk? There's a warrant out for your arrest. If I don't go, it would be much worse for Sarah. Everything will be okay. Well, you just have to trust me. I don't trust Gadjis. how much your mother and I have waited for this moment. But listen. I wanted to tuck you up in your own little bed tonight. And watch you sleep. Unfortunately, there has to be a slight delay. What? Finn, son, it's the law. There's nothing we can do about it. The central authorities here. Oh, Sarah, run! Oh, Sarah. Oh, you can't. Finn! It's only for a couple of days. No, you away. We'll pick her up later. Finn! Finn! Finn, come here. No, no, it's only for a little while. Only for a few days, darling. No. No, Sarah, I didn't know. I promise you, I didn't know. Finn, you wrecked everything. I knew you would. Finn, now keep away from me. trusted me, in spite of Fabiola telling her over and over again that Gadgies never keep their word. And there's no chance. Monsieur Thierry did his best to talk them out of it. And your parents too. We should never have come back. No interviews. Think of the parents. I don't believe it. How did they find out? It's their job. They can smell a story a mile away. Yeah, they'd do a lot better if they concentrated on that wretched woman. What good is that going to do anyone if she's sent to prison? I wonder if you wouldn't be better to drop your prosecution. It's impossible. The woman is a criminal. Don't you think that Sarah needs Fabiola? Mm. Just as Finn needs you. Hiya. I was wondering if you felt like going for a ride. No way. Oh, come on, Finn. Stop being so negative. Negative, huh? You can talk. OK, I'm sorry. I thought it was for the best. She can't walk out now. Not now. Who? Mother? No, oh, Sarah. She doesn't want to see me. She doesn't want to see anyone. I've tried. Well, maybe Jose could help us find Fabiola. And what good would that do? She wouldn't have anything to do with me. Can't trust a gadget, eh? Fabiola would do anything to save Sarah. Save her? From what? From me? My parents? Oh, come on, Finn. You've nothing to lose. Let's go ask Jose. Maybe you can do me a nice drawing. The parents are here. Can we go and say hello? They brought you some presents. I don't want to see them. Just a word. Is your daughter being chased from the other children? children, 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 children please, please, will you just leave please, us please, alone? Please, please, please. please, 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 please.
gern, Dante. Merde, Fabiola. It's okay, you won't say anything. He's trying to pass with her to meet your parents. So that my father can quote her the law. He still doesn't want to see us. No. Open your mouth, darling. Did you think about what we were saying yesterday? Yes, we're seeing a lawyer at 11 o'clock. Oh. You are dropping the action? Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> well? She's suffering from shock. Since they've taken her in, she's refused to eat. She won't talk to anyone. If this continues, it could get very serious. Mm, this isn't going to be an easy one. Whatever we decide, someone's going to get hurt. Who have we got outside? The psychologist from the children's home and Father Michael from Saint Marie. Hello, Mum. Dad. Uh, sit down. Okay, we'll leave you to it. Listen, we don't wish you any harm. We realize that, that you love Sarah and that she is very attached to you. But Sarah's our child. She's a part of me. And when I lost her, something in me died. You must understand. So we want you to tell her. Tell? Tell her what? That she must be to a foreign country with people she doesn't know? But of course she knows us. She's our child. And it isn't a foreign country, it's her country. All right, simmer down. Look, we won't get anywhere by shouting. Fabiola, I'm a doctor. Sarah is refusing to eat. She won't speak with anyone. She's making herself very ill. Surely that's got to be our prime concern. The longer we delay, the more likelihood there is of permanent mental damage. Sir, I seek. I will make her better. With herbs? Denise. Please help her. And later we can try and sort this out. Look at me, sir. Please answer me. Sir. Fabiola's come to see you. Why don't you do something? You are a doctor, why won't you? Your father and I have asked the police to leave her alone. She'll be all right now. All we want is for you to get better. She is our daughter, for heaven's sake. We love her. We'll do everything we can to make her happy. You must understand that. In our care, she'll recover everything that is her due, her health, her, her well-being, her education. And love. There's no way she has lacked love, Mrs. O'Donnell. It's my love I'm talking about. The hugs I could never give her, the, the thoughts I could never tell her. But you are separated. I know it has been very difficult for you, but simply losing a child is not a claim in itself. 
Sarah is 12 years old now. She's no longer the little girl that you knew. She has grown up as a gypsy, and she's as much a stranger to you as you are to her. Not to Finn, she isn't. Finn! Finn, come in, darling. Come and tell the judge you don't want to be separated from your sister, do you? Well, since you've called him now, I'll, I'll see him, but uh, I would rather speak to him in private, if you don't mind. Come on, Finn, come in and sit down. And nurse, could you just give us a few minutes together? Look, I know it's difficult, but you've got to have your strength if you're going to get through this. Finishing the judge this morning, and Fabiola sees him this afternoon. They're both trying to help you, but they are in terrible trouble because of you. And they need you to show that you love them as much as they love you. Now that you have found Finn after all this time, you don't want to lose him, do you? But you will if you don't help him. He's risked everything for you. You said to Finn, don't leave me. And he's doing his best not to, but you're shutting him out. You were shocked when he discovered your parents were separated. But now, you're doing the same thing to Finn. If you go on just thinking of yourself, you risk losing not only Finn, but maybe Fabiola too. And then, you might have to stay in place like this for a very long time. Is that what you want? You can't be a little girl anymore. We all want to help you, but you've got to be grown up and help yourself. And you can start by eating. It's all up to you now. And how about Sarah? I want to stay with her. But how do you think she would settle down if you took her to Ireland? Now think about this, this is very important. There's the climate, how would she get on with your stepmother or uh, living in a house in a town? I don't know. My mother is great, but Sarah's used to life in the road, and... Yes? Actually, I've learned a thing or two from Sarah. There are things that she can bring to my life as well. It's not just one way. Such as? The music in the evenings, the family meal, the togetherness. I like it. I could understand she'd miss all that, because... Something I never had. This will slip down the butter at all. Shall we try some? Good. You didn't find your voice again. You'll never understand. I never stole anyone. It was the will of God. But it was our destiny. I needed her and she needed me. But you are perfectly aware that she was not your child. Since Sarah gave her to me, she was happy with me. There was laughter and dancing. I have not the same words as you to express myself, but Sarah was a little ray of light that led me out of a great darkness. Please, don't plunge me back into the darkness again. I do understand. Thank you. Perhaps you could wait outside. Sarah certainly shouldn't be taken back to Ireland against her will, and placing her in charge is obviously not an option. Perhaps it would be best if she were left as she is, as a traveler. The problem in all this is that the principles you would judge her by, if she was French or Irish, simply don't relate. A gypsy ways and beliefs are often the complete opposite of what you'd consider normal. But just because they are different, doesn't mean that they are wrong. Ideally, I would like to find a way where she can inherit the best of both worlds. But really, we need Sarah to tell us what she wants. I want to be left alone. Leave me alone. Okay. Go away. There's no point, Finn. She won't talk to anyone. Please, 
This is something Marie baked for you. And this is a present from Louise. This is pretty. This is a horrible place. We don't eat, so I stick a needle in your arm. Will you keep for me? Yes, I steal your clothes. So I steal everything. What are you laughing at? It takes a thief to know a thief. Liam, do you remember we saw it on the telly about kids giving evidence on their own in front of camera so that they didn't have to appear in court? What's that got to do with anything? Oh, I remember. It was so grown-ups wouldn't frighten them or make them say things they didn't mean. Do you know where Marie keeps her camera? Why? Do you know where she keeps it? Since the presence of adults seems to inhibit her, Finn had the bright idea of putting his sister on videotape. Finn, I don't know what to say. I don't understand what that is happening. I'm so afraid to make everyone sad. But Fabiola is my mother. And I want to stay with her forever and ever. If I go far away across the other side of the sea, then Fabiola will be crying all the time, and so will I. But I don't want to lose you either. You're my brother. You don't force me into anything. Your patience with me. Don't leave me. My gadget parents can come along any time they like. Maybe the truth could all be happy. It's ridiculous. You can't just leave two children with a bunch of gypsies. Well, children are often more sensible than we give them credit for. Look, Finn and I could come and live here. What do you think about that, Fabiola? Finn? And Sarah ought to stay together. Would you accept Mrs. O'Donnell's proposal, then? Are you serious about this? It's what I want. What about his education? We'll talk about that later. OK. You can come and see us whenever you want. Fiend can call on us whenever they want. The house is not so far. And the International College Index seems okay. Oh, ideal. So Finn won't lose out on his schooling. And Louise will come for the holidays. <laughs> what am I going to tell them at school? That a woman came into my life. Oh, ha ha, very funny. You're going to go to school every day? Yes, by car. Marie says it's a special school, as I never know to to you. Anyway, if anyone gives me any trouble, I'll get my big brother to sort them out. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Do you think she'll learn to love me? Of course she will.
You will make me proud of you, won't you? But I want you to live with us too. But I will be here at Josie's. So you can come and see me whenever you like. But we won't be able to dance together anymore. No. I'll stay here for the winter. Then I'll come for the holidays. And then after a while, you won't need me anymore. Of course I will. Forever and ever. Remember and make sure that you say your prayer to Saint Sarah. It was she who brought you to me. And she was taking you back. Because she sees further than I can. Further than any gypsy. I just want to say, I've learned an awful lot in the last few days, thanks to you. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. Look, I know things haven't been well between us for a long time. A lot of that has been my fault, I know that now. When people are faced with problems, everyone reacts differently. Some people tackle them head on, others just bury their head in the sand. I know. You faced up to things, Finn. And because of that, I think we have a chance to work things out. What? With you in Ireland and me in France? <laughs> yeah, I know it's crazy, but I still think we can be closer than we've ever been. Come on. <laughs> 